The shooting is striking a nerve with the Albuquerque police officer who was ambushed and gunned down during a traffic stop in January. Officer Golson sat down with News 13's Candace Hopkins today. Candace. Kim, Officer Golson says last night's shooting and what happened to him are strikingly similar. And because of that, he knows Officer Webster faces serious challenges ahead. The guy who shot him is in custody. Now my heart goes out to the family because the nightmare is just starting. Golson says while Officer Webster's medical recovery will be followed closely, there's so much more that goes on behind the scenes for both Webster and his family that the public will never see, like dealing with the emotional turmoil. Ten months after a suspected drunk driver who turned out to be a car thief opened fire on Golson during a traffic stop, Golson is back at work but still dealing with a lot of medical problems. Golson says he knows Officer Webster well and plans to visit him once he's doing better. Although my injuries weren't as severe as his, but I also know the road ahead is going to be tough. It's going to be filled with pain. It's going to be filled with uh, second thoughts. What should I have done? What could I have done? Officer Golson says this situation once again highlights the need to keep career criminals off the streets. He wants state lawmakers to come up with stiffer penalties for serious criminals. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Candace. Now, Officer Golson was a DWI officer. He is still with the department, but he's now working to help recruit for APD. As you